Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 45th annual Winmore Fleetmore Memorial Las Vegas Open live here in Las Vegas, Nevada at the Tuscany Suites and Casino. I'm Sean Green, your play play commentator, joined by the, my man in the booth this weekend, Mr. Ryan Mooneyham. Mooney, we got ourselves the finals of the Las Vegas Classic Women's WDF 501 Silver Ranking Event. It is an all-English final featuring two of the top five female dart players in the entire world. And Miss Dita Hedman taking on the queen of the palace, Miss Fallon Sherrick. Very great match. I mean, Two queens. Yeah, I mean, look, queen of the Caribbean taking on queen of the palace. Let's talk about the 10 darter we just seen in the previous match from Dita Hedman. Yep. Back-to-back -back 180s, left her 20, pins it first dart. Yeah, this is going to be an absolute uh, honor to call this match. This is what you'll see the PDC Women's Series. Basically every single tournament at some point uh, will be a battle between these two early and often. Well, let's let's talk about our day. Our number Please. one seed, Dita Hedman, took out Romero, Biana, Sandy Haas on our stream, Edgar, and just finished out uh, with a 4-1 victory over Shea Cole for this event, averaging 71.42. 78.42. So I'm sorry, 78.42, and featured a 10 daughter on our stream. Yep. Valen Chirac, she took out Honeyman, Leroux, Melton, Zilstra, and Lisa Yee. Uh, her average for this event is 76.80. Fallon Sherrick. Yeah, and their first line averages are very similar, 91.96 to an 88.36, which is just dominant on the rest of the field. Uh, so they're getting a lot of looks at the finish first. Uh, the scoring power is going to be there for both ladies, and it's going to come down to the finishing here of who's going to win this final. First to five legs. Fallon won the gold event yesterday. Dita trying to... Uh, Win the silver event today. A lot on the line here for both. Dita would love her spot in the Masters, correct? That is correct. <clears throat> both these women will be offered their master spots in yeah, first and second. Um, another interesting fact, we did feature these two in a cricket. Their first See, time playing against each other in a game of cricket. And they played each other in a game of cricket, and uh, Fallon did, uh, did best Dita in that. And talking to Dita yesterday she mentioned she was like oh my gosh I was kicking myself on the strategy after that match should have given herself uh, some more opportunities but what a 137 sh shot here to leave uh, 120 to put some pressure on this 105 from Dita 105 the looks at the 20 gonna get a dart at it it's gonna be a dart at tops she does like that tops and a 105 checkout for Dita Hedman and leg number one, and uh, we've had one leg, and we have one ton plus checkout already. Um, also, remember that we moved up in format. We're now best of nine. Race to the first five legs. So little, we extend by one game. Which is only music to our ears. I wish it was a race to 20 <laughs> with we these could, two. We, I was going to say, we could call some great, mat, great darts and great legs with these two. Fallon with the throw here in leg number two. Again, this is the final Fallon from Milton Keynes. Uh, neither of these ladies need any introduction whatsoever. Dita Hedman, Hedman, a former Las Vegas Classic champion in 2002. She also has multiple uh, world championship runner-up, <coughs> three-time runner-up in the World Darts Championship. Fallon Cherick, of course, the queen of the palace. Can throw with the absolute best in the world, no matter the gender. The scoring pair that we had seen on both of these ladies, um, 15 dart legs, 13 dart legs, a 10 darter. Mm -hmm. um, it's just, it's impressive stuff. And... This is definitely the best we've seen Dita on out throughout this weekend. Uh, her her uh, weight of her dart is consistent in that treble 20, just like this is from Fallon. That's a 180 from Fallon Sherrick, our first of the stream or of the final, and I don't think it's going to be the only one. But she leaves 94 now after 12, and uh, Dita way back on 324 will not leave a finish after that first dart. 
Hedman looking for at least a ton plus here. Does manage the 100. But Fallon, six starts at least at 94. You fancy that. She did not have to chase the bull route. Double eight. Pins the double eight for a 94 checkout. And a 15 dart hole to throw in leg number two. One one score line in this final. They are off and running. Hedman held. Now Shirok. Shirok. I'm just going to giggle at you every time. I know. One of these Look days she's going to start from Dita. Dita. That's a 180 from Dita Hedman, her first of this match. We saw two back to back in the last match, but look at this from Fallon. Fallon. Oh, almost follows suits. Nice uh, follow with a 140. Right below the wire on dart number one. Break down this event. Hedman, five 180s. Shurik, three. Three. And now it's six and four in the event. And for those wondering, that is first and second in 180s in this event. Back-to-back -back 140s from Fallon. The consistency of the 140s trumping the 180 start from Dita. Ooh, not happy with that turn, both on outsides and the fives. So Fallon here, six starts from 2-2-1 two, two, to break the throw. A little lazy on that third dart. Yeah, a little, <clears throat> just a little drop off. I think she just tried to place it there instead of just firing it right at the back of the first dart that was in the treble. We'll get the first look at a checkout. And with that stumble there from Dita, she might think that she has six darts from 140. She's going to need at least another turn, even after that great setup shot. 120 to leave. Double 10 if she returns. Needs that 60. Gets that 60. 78 left. Treble 18. Stayed there. Oh, just on the outside for the double nine. Double 10 for the break of throw from Fallon Cherick. And she busted in the double 15. <sighs> Not something you see very often. Dita Hedman almost took out the 138. Good marker for her, but it's a little bit awkward as she steps over a touch. Oh, no, and goes inside. You see those eyes drop. Not happy with that. Sets it up for the next round if she gets to return. It's a big if as Fallon does pin that double 10 first start. Two to one lead and a break of throw now for Fallon. Averaging above 90 for the match. Trebleus visit to start this leg. Race to five here. You see that side profile, first start goes beautifully there for Dita. Looking to start off with another 180. Ooh, just pulled into the one. Allen, perfect, perfect first start for her to follow these other two. You almost expect it with the first one, and that's a 180 from Fallon Cherick. Her second of this match. Yeah. Only that's manages, unlucky. I was say, only manages 100, but it could have been worse. Looking over the 18s here for Fallon. Unfortunate second dart falls into the four. A little bit of a stumble here. Beautiful first dart. Yep. 
Needs to find another trouble to leave a finish. Not going to do so. So set up. Shot important here for Fallon. Going to step over and I believe stay there on the 19s. She does so. A little, little high flyer on that step third dart, but does manage to still grab the 19 to give her the 58 score. Outside look, so Dita's going to try and attack this to put a lot of pressure. 140 would be really nice. And just go right at that treble. And gets it. 140 set up for tops. If she returns, the 160 from Fallon. There's the first one. Needs another one of those. Tops for the 160. Oh, oh, my goodness, just below the wire. So Dita had been to break right back and go back on throw. What a final. Double 10. And she pins it to break right back with a 14 dart break a throw. And my goodness, we have ourselves a final 2-2 two two score line. 91.67 uh, for Fallon. 85.74 for Dita. Both of them picking this match to throw their best and used to playing each other, knowing that it's going to be a battle with how talented both of them are. So they're bringing out their best right now. Great adjustment after the first start from Fallon. We have seen very few trebleless visits out of both of these ladies. Who wins this? Is it the Caribbean queen or is it the queen of the palace? Well, we'll definitely crown a queen. Speaking of trouble, visits. I jinxed both of them there. 356 to 321. This is Dita's throw. Ooh, and the worst version of a 66. First start in the trouble 20. Fallon, that's a good marker for a 140. Almost unlucky to not get yeah, that last yeah, start in the trouble. It, but it does best the 66 of the previous round. Yep. Looking to break. It would be the third straight break of throw if it does happen. Dita Hedman and her partner Anka Zilstra did win the women's doubles cricket event last night. Fallon, of course, was your singles WDF gold ranking event champion yesterday. And the women's singles cricket champion. Yep. So Fallon will get a big opportunity to break the throw, sitting on 86 after 12. You're seeing two of the best in the world doing what they do best. Pulled down on that 57 for the cover. Only managed to three. Not happy with that drop. 85 left. Gets the treble 15. So tops. She will return. To break the throw again of Dita Hedman. And that'll be our third straight break of throw in this one. Dita must go ton plus here. Yeah, all she can do is, is put some pressure on. First starts a little high on where she would like it to be in the treble. Needs that final triple. Let's see her try to force that last one in there. Yeah, she didn't throw that. She put tried to place it in there. And there's Tops pins from Fallon Sherrick. Now a three to two lead. It is a first to five legs, but Fallon breaks a throw again. Of Dita Hedman. Third break a throw in a row. Fallon knows now she just has to hold her throw and win her second WDF title of the weekend. Trebleless visit to start, though. Live here at the Las Vegas Open at the Tuscany Suites and Casino. USA Darts Productions has been 
streaming this all weekend long, and it's been an absolute pleasure as we get another 180 from Dita Hedman. That one starts off this leg. They now have two apiece in the 180 column in this match. Just high on the first dart. Follows the 180 with a ton. This is an attacking the Fallon throw after, after Fallon just broke. Does manage the 57 on the third dart for the cover. First one into the three, got the 57, still managed to retain 80. There's that reflex point in, in all of its glory there. Another ton, back-to-back to -back tons. Dita wanting to, wanting to return to that 121. Depending on what Fallon does here, she may not have to start on the bull. She does now need to start on the bull because Fallon left to finish with the 138. Leaves the 167. Treble 20, first start. Does not go in, so Fallon's going to get a look at the 167. We saw our youth, our girls' youth champion today get a look at the bullseye for the 167. Fallon, treble 19, not going to go this time. Goes back up to the 20 to leave 28. If she returns, 78 must go for, for Dita to break this one, I believe. Ooh, and now it's a little bit tough. Does she go 25 bowl? She does not. What a great second dart. Goes outside on the double, t or goes inside on the double 10. Not her best look there on that one. Double 14. Great marker, and goes in for Fallon. Fallon holds her throw to take a 4-2 to two lead. She is now one leg away from this title. 91.47 for Fallon, 83.53 current average for Dita. Or Dita, Dita, Dita. Eight times the charm. Don't worry, Ryan. <laughs> Good cover shot on dart number three but unfortunately does not hit that treble. So Fallon a chance to, to take control early in this leg. Would have definitely liked more than 58. First to five legs. Let's talk about the what this all includes, right? It's a world master spot, guaranteed, uh, for both players no matter what. Uh, but the prize difference, $600 to first place, $300 to second place. So you kind of half it there. And, of course, the pride of playing your fellow countrymen and here in Las Vegas and putting the hurt to them. Never. Yeah. Plus it's world ranking points on the, on the WDF scale, which um, the more you play the WDF, the higher you rank, number one. But you qualify for Lakeside. Those ranking points get you in the better seeds. Yeah, I would say overall, uh, no matter what, both of these players um, almost guaranteed spots at Lakeside. Fallon, of course, is, and Dita's the number one seed in the WDF, most likely. Yeah, um, but you got to maintain your points because yep. now we got a whole year in from us. It was this is a this is the reason why they're here, both for the the positioning and for the seed for the seeds points. It's great to have this type of event here in the United States, Las Vegas, Nevada. So Fallon 208. Just trying to set it up. Does not hit the treble there, so a couple treble visit here. Puts Dita back in the driver's seat of the leg. Fallon will get a look at the 148. No matter what. Great second dart. Looking to follow. Leaves a finish, but it's 
Not the easy one. Now I'm not going to take out the 148, so I'm just going to try and leave it handy. Does so with that last start, bud. Nice 100, leaves 48 for the for the turn. The 158 for Dita has to go. Got to get two triples in there. Not going to do so. So Fallon will come back for the title with 48 remaining. Oh, pulled the one, not happy. Unlucky on that dart. Trying to reset. Switches down. Only 40 points scored. Fallon Cherick, what will it be? It will be tops for the title. Double 10. Will she come back? Match darts missed. Two of them to be exact. Needs a triple here to start this 118 action. Still got an opportunity. Trouble 20 will leave double 19. Oh. Not going to do so. Unlucky on dart two. Just kicked out. Now she's trying to reset. Sets up for the next round. But Fallon, double 10 for the win and the title. Great marker. Got to kiss it on the other side. And does so. Fallon Sherrick is your champion of the Las Vegas Classic Women's WDF 501 Singles Silver Ranking Event. Huge shout out to both of our finalists, Dita Hedman, Fallon Sherrick. Final average 85.32 for Fallon in that one. Enough to get the job done. And uh, she performed very well to win both ranking titles today.